leader bands and spokes continue to uh, wrap around that. And there was a strong one right there that the uh, Weather Service uh, was suggesting may have hurricane force wind. Neighborhoods were swamped after the storm crossed the Florida Keys overnight and veered into the Gulf of Mexico. So after going through that uh, tropical storm, I thought I'd do a video on how to deal with tropical storms or hurricanes when you're in South Florida. I mean, uh, being raised in Florida, I've been through a lot of hurricanes, I've been through a lot of tropical storms, but never won in an RV. This is our first time in the RV. Uh, we did, the so first things first, if there's a hurricane warning, the parks are gonna close. They're gonna come by and tell you, you gotta get out. That's just a given. It was, if there's a hurricane, they're going to kick you out. I would leave if there was a hurricane. I've been through a lot of hurricanes living in my brick and mortar home, and it's not a fun adventure here. But a couple things that you can do um, to kind of keep yourself a little safe. First of all, is make sure that you have a full diesel tank of fuel. The reason being is power goes out, you have a generator. And you want to make sure that generator might run for about a week or so. Uh, we were in South Florida during a, uh, in our home uh, several years back, and uh, we had no power for six days. Luckily, we had a generator, and that kind of kept us going. Another for, thing to do is put the stabilizers down. The way I think about it is just another four points of contact to the ground. Another thing we did is on the windward side of the uh, RV, we closed our slide outs. And it helped out too with the noise. Uh, as you know, the awning toppers tend to uh, blow in the wind and blowing in the wind making a lot of noise. Drove our dog Gracie crazy. Another thing to do is make sure you have a full tank of fresh water. Not only does it supply the water that you need, we have 90 gallons of fresh water in our vehicle, but it also adds weight to your unit. Our vehicle weighs 35,000 pounds by adding water. I think water is like 8.9 pounds per gallon. So you can add it up. It's a lot of more weight to hold down the RV. Make sure you uh, drain your black tank. Make sure you drain your, um, your gray water and have that all empty. Uh, you have enough fresh water and your tanks are empty so you can uh, use it while you're here for the next week or so. Hurricane warning, get out. Take your home with you. You got six wheels. Take your home with you and get out of harm's way. So I hope these tips help you out a little bit.
it's no joke being in Florida during hurricane season. Don't take it lightly. Take care of your lives. Take care of your family. Take care of your investment. And uh, I hope these tips help you out a little bit. So if you notice by these videos, we had a lot of water. Uh, all we had was a tropical storm warning. And uh, we had anywhere from 50 to 70 mile an hour gust winds uh, for about two days. And then it rained for about a week. Uh, they had anywhere from 14 to 16 inches of rain in some places. We had a lot of flooding in the area. If you notice in the video, there was a tree that came down a couple spots from where we were. Another good thing to do is uh, if uh, maybe move to a different spot that doesn't have any trees around it because when the tree goes, it's coming down in the RV. Home. So By the day, if you're around a lot of trees, move it. Uh, look up into the trees, make sure there's no dead branches or anything that could break off and, and fall on your uh, RV. We had a lot of flooding. Uh, if you look at the dock, these pictures of the dock before and after, you can see the big difference. Uh, the water in the lakes came pretty much and covered up a lot of the sidewalks around here at the park that we're at. And uh, it was just a crazy time. But, you know, times like this make you appreciate life and make you think about things that you can do to, to protect yourself and to protect your family. And I hope uh, these uh, pointers have helped you out uh, in some way. So please take care of yourselves, take care of your family, take care of your property. And, uh, and do the right thing and protect yourself. Have a great one. See you on the next video. Bye-bye.